The events that we remember this week are the beginnings of the miracle that changed the world forever. The miracle that changed you and I forever. They were events necessary to move human consciousness to a higher place. In Unity, we teach that every story offered to us in the Bible is our own story. Jesus was showing us with his own life that just as nothing is more powerful than the Christ presence within him, nothing is more powerful than the Christ presence within us, not even death. There is profound beauty in silence and in the darkness and the compassion and love we feel for the man who even in his suffering and death was thinking of us all, was teaching us that who we are is imperishable spirit. He was teaching us that crucifixion or crossing out that which no longer serves us, crossing out those thoughts and beliefs that hold us in bondage, allows us to rise. When we let go of those false beliefs of doubt, unworthiness, guilt, when we let go of anger, fear, unforgiveness, when we let our old self die, we are truly resurrected to a new life. As Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, not what I want, but what you want. He was teaching us to surrender, to surrender our limited perspective of life and to embrace the divine perspective, one that sees no limits. As human beings, we recognize the unspeakable suffering and pain of someone we love. As spiritual beings, we recognize a greater reality for Jesus, for all of us. In our own suffering and pain, as we surrender, there is indescribable strength and power to be found. In the face of challenge, you are never alone and there is great comfort, awakening, and unlimited value in our struggle. It is in these moments that we become teachable and awakened to who we really are, what we're capable of. It is in dying to our human limited self that we are reborn, that we rise up and we become who we were created to be. Thank you, Jesus.